Then we'll welcome to the cooking corner in the Air Comfort Solutions Kitchen. We're happy to welcome back Chef Joseph Fistrovich from Monroe, who is doing a watermelon summer soup for us. We're so excited you're here to join us today. Well, thanks for having me. And we are making gazpacho today. Um, my gazpacho is a little bit different than a traditional one. It has watermelon instead of tomatoes. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first you want to do is you want to get four cups of watermelon chopped up and you want to puree some of it about three uh, three cups of it we're going to add it into our bowl then we're going to add the remaining diced watermelon into it and quick question for you why sure. watermelon well i think it's well for one thing it's summertime so it's a lot fresher and a lot uh refreshing and it's good it gets everybody in the summer spirit exactly so next we're going to take a cup of cucumbers in there tomatoes and some red onion and yellow peppers and everything smells so fresh I've been smelling it the whole show <laughs> yes um, next we're gonna take one lime and we're going to juice it and then zest it to add a little bit more flavor to the soup we're going to take a little bit of garlic one clove chopped up now we're gonna add a little jalapeno. I would take one and I would make sure I take out all the seeds and the pith, which is the white uh, membrane. So we're gonna add that in there and I'll give it a little heat to the soup. Next, we're gonna take a little salt, pepper, and a little bit of sugar. That salt will help bring out the sweetness of the watermelon. Add a little red wine vinegar. And then to finish it off, some nice chopped parsley. Amazing, amazing. And if you don't have all of these ingredients, can you like substitute it with different of items? Of course. Um, you know, yellow peppers, if you want to just put red or green in there, it's fine. I find that uh, a red onion is a lot better to eat raw than a yellow onion. Um, and if you don't like watermelon for some strange reason, then you can just keep it traditional with uh, tomatoes. No, it smells incredible. Um, you know, how popular would you say this is for customers? Is this something they want to get on a regular? Um, so if you like, some people just don't like it because it's, you know, they think of cold soup, they can't get their head around it, mm -hmm. and that's normal. Um, but some people, when it's hot outside, especially in the summertime, this is a great little treat for yourself. Perfect. And how long would you say um, for people at home would it take to make, you know, maybe for your family? Uh, if you're going to make this, I would say make it a couple hours in advance to let the flavors kind of combine and meld together. Um, you could make it the night before and then have it for lunch the next day. Perfect. Thank you, Chef Joseph, as always, for joining us. Well, thank you. Now, you can check out many more recipes just like this one. You can just go to our website at newson6.com slash recipes.